when future rates are uncertain it becomes harder to interpret the term structure we know that different investment strategies with equal terminal dates must provide equal rates of return but what if in the age of uncertainty or in the world of uncertainty we don't know the value of r2 at present to understand this issue we have an example uh, where two consecutive one year investments in zero would need to offer the same total returns as an equal sized investment in a two years zero under the certainty world therefore uh, 1 plus r1 into 1 plus r2 should be equal to 1 plus y2 square so y2 here is the yield at the maturity means at the end of year 2 uh, what if r2 is unknown today so how we we'll determine the value of r2 suppose today's rate is 5% then the expected short rate for year 2 is equal to 6% using this value the value of a 2 years zero bond will be equal to uh, 1000 divided by 1 plus r1 into 1 plus r2 or the face value that is 1000 dollars would be divided by 1 plus y2 square y2 here is the mature yield at the maturity in other words we will divide the face value with the product of 1.05 and 1.06 and the resulting value is 898.47 dollar so that is the value of the bond at time zero the value of one year zero then would be equal to 1000 divided by 1.05 which comes to 90 952.38 dollars now if a short term investor wants to invest for one year then he may have two options to work the first is to buy the one year zero bond today at a discount rate of 5% means he will be buying the bond at 952.38 dollars and he needs to hold this bond till maturity locking his return at the 5% to get the face value of 1000 dollars and that scenario uh, prevails in the world of certainty then he may have second option where he needs to buy this two years bond today and plan to sell it at the end of the first year for 943.40 dollars here the rate to discount is the 6% then the rate of return on the two years bond we see that it is risky because it is now working in the world of uncertainty uh, this means that next year r2 may be less than or greater than the 6% rate and if the next year's interest rate or i is greater than r2 that is the 6% uh, then the price will be less than a uh, 943.40 dollars and if the next year's rate or i is greater than the r2 which is now 6% then the price will be greater than 942.40 which is as at present now this means that actual return on the two years bond is uncertain in this particular case because we are now in this case uh, referring to the world of uncertainty the Expectation in this case ignores the element of risk. Short-term investors ignore the long-term bonds unless their expected return exceeds that of the one year's bond return. This means that particular investor requires a risk to hold a long-term bond, and that required risk is termed as a liquidity premium. this liquidity premium uh, works as a compensation for uncertain future prices for this particular short term bond holder